Hey guys, thanks for watching again. This pot holder I crocheted before and I did it only in Dutch and I got a request if I could do this in English. So I'm going to show you how to do this stitch, this is the Elizabeth stitch, but I'm not going to show you how to do this whole pot holder. Your base has to be an even number of stitches and for the pot holder I did 24 but now I'm going to do 12. And I'm not going to do this uh, with this yarn because, well, that yarn really splits a lot and it's very difficult to crochet with uh, on um, on this video tutorial. So I'm um, using another yarn. So an even number of stitches. In my case I'm going to do 12. And 12. So make your base as long as you have to for your project and then plus two. And this two counts as a half double crochet. Then we are going to skip one, two, three stitches and in the fourth stitch we do a, a the Elizabeth stitch. You put your hook through the stitch, pull up a yarn, yarn over and in the same stitch put your hook through it and pull up a yarn and then we have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all four loops chain one skip the next stitch and in the next do again the Elizabeth stitch so put your yarn uh, put your hook through the stitch pull up your yarn yarn over and in the same stitch put your hook through it and pull up your yarn that makes four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. Chain one and again. Skip one stitch and in the next put your hook, th hook through it. Pull up your yarn. Yarn over and in the same stitch put your hook through it and pull up your yarn. That makes four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four chain one skip the next stitch and in the next we do the Elizabeth stitch four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all four loops chain one now we have two stitches left and in the last stitch we do a half double crochet And this is um, because you have to get straight edges. Chain 2, turn your work, skip the first stitch and in the next stitch on top of the Elizabeth stitch you do the Elizabeth stitch again. So this is your chain 2, this is your next stitch so skip that and in this stitch you do the Elizabeth stitch. So yarn through the stitch, uh, hook through the stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over and in the same stitch pull up your yarn that makes four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops, chain one. And this is only repeating for the rest of your project. Skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we do the Elizabeth stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch and in the next, as you can see it's on the right of the Elizabeth stitch, not the bigger stitch over here, but on the Elizabeth stitch of the previous row. chain one, skip the next stitch and in the next stitch the Elizabeth stitch so always make sure you have four loops on your hook chain one and now I'm at the end of my work so skip the next stitch and in the last stitch over here you do a half double crochet 
So make sure you're going through all two loops so you get a nice straight edge. Okay, so there's the half double crochet. And from now on, it's only repeating uh, this row. So I'll show you once again. Chain two, turn your work, skip the stitch, uh, the first stitch. So you did one, two chains to turn. In the next stitch, you skip, and in a stitch after that, you do the Elizabeth stitch. So if you take your piece a bit apart, you can see. Uh, a hole here, so this is the third stitch. So always make sure you do it in a stitch before that. So the Elizabeth stitch, hook through the stitch, yarn up, yarn over again in the same stitch, pull up some yarn, four loops on the hook, yarn over, and through all four loops, chain one, skipping the next stitch in a stitch. After that, the Elizabeth stitch. So at the beginning, you always have a chain two, which which counts as your half double crochet, and in the end, you always do a half double crochet. And the Elizabeth stitch uh, ends with a chain one, and then skip the next stitch. It's a very simple stitch. Once you get the hang of it, but I think that's with all the stitches. If you get to know how to do the stitch, everything you have to crochet is very simple. But that's just me thinking, but I'm crocheting for years and years now, so most of the times if I just do it once, I uh, know how to do it. Skip the next stitch and in the last stitch, sometimes you have to search a bit or take a work a bit apart. So this is the next stitch and in the next stitch here this is your chain 2 of your previous row you do a half double crochet for some nice straight edges. Okay so here's your Elizabeth stitch as you can see it's going to be a little bit of a zigzag here. Here in this work you can see it a bit better. You can see how it zigzags all your pattern and there's no wrong or right side in my opinion so uh, you can crochet as much rows as you want to and I hope you so this is how you can crochet the Elizabeth stitch thanks for uh, asking me if you could do this in English and um, I hope to see you soon bye bye